Hey everyone, it's Jacques, and recently we got an email from one of our students named Tony that read, in lesson 18, I just finished learning the song Perfect by Ed Sheeran on Valentine's Day. I played it today and serenaded my wife of 32 years and together for 41 years. Lots of tears. Honestly, I can't believe how well this course has taught me piano in so little time. I am blown away and so excited. Practice is paying off. We love getting emails like this because that is what it's all about. It's being able to truly enjoy music and share it with others. Tony, in a short amount of time, was able to really blow his wife away on a special event, and it's, a, it's obviously a special person for him. So I wanted to get more to the story, so that's what this video is about. It's a conversation between myself and Tony to understand where was he at the beginning of his piano journey, how did it go for him with Piano in 21 Days, and how was he able to play a song like that so quickly and surprise his wife. Lots of great nuggets, lots of great advice in here. Tony is, he's just awesome. He put in the work and he got results. And so without further ado, here's the full conversation between myself and Tony Roberts. Going into like right before you found Piano in 21 Days, what what were you able to do on the piano, if anything? Uh, well, just to go back, my, my mom, who's 97 years old, uh, can play the piano amazingly. She can play by um, ear and she can play by note. So she lives in a different province in Canada, and I'm going home on Sunday to see her. I, I get to see her probably every two or three months. And she has a piano in her home and she plays all these tunes for me. So I'm a drummer. Uh, but I've never played instruments. I never played. And the only thing I could play on the piano was C, D, and G. But I never knew if that was a minor or a major <laughs> chord. So I had very little experience. My mom tried to teach me when I was two uh, through the theory side. And I just, I just got overwhelmed and uh, ADHD kid um, ain't going to work. So in Deep down, I always had a desire to to learn piano, but I just couldn't I, I just couldn't get my head wrapped around of learning theory. And I watched my kids for four or five years when they were young. Every week, the piano teacher would come to our house, and uh, and after four or five years, they couldn't even play a song. You know, <laughs> kind of similar to to your story. You know, um, but. Um, I didn't want to go through that process. It's just like, you know, at my age, I'm 57 years old. I just didn't want to do that. So Christmas time, I, uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to learn piano this year. 2022 is a year that I'm going to learn piano. I didn't know how. So I just went online and I started searching and I came across your five free episodes. And I like your story because you're an engineer by trade. So I know your thought process. I know you're more analytical and you, and I like your formulas to make it simple. I, I did not want to get into something that I had to learn too much <laughs> and practice. So that's where, once I started, I realized that once I found your way of teaching and it really it may not be everybody's way, but it was my way that I that I really related to your way of teaching. And once I started to put it in practice, I was amazed how quick I adapted to that style of learning. I didn't know what I was what I was getting into, but once I started learning it, 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 it started to come very quickly to me. Um, and uh, again, that may not happen to everybody, but uh, but it did for me. So I started to enjoy it every day i would practice i would practice and practice to my my wife was saying you're spending an awful lot of time on your piano but i was excited about it and i remember listening to the video um i forget the guy's name right now it's the uh the um the short little video that you have in one of your lessons where he taught the uh, oh my gosh what is that little improv um on the left hand, the little melody on the left hand. I'm drawing a blank too, Tony. Oh my gosh, I forget his name. 
I can do it now, but I um, but oh, I, you're I, talking uh, about the uh, the secret sauce, the Zach secret Evans sauce. secret sauce. I, I think in day 18 lesson. So he he talked about that, and I started to do it, and I couldn't I couldn't do it at that first, but now I can. Uh, but he said something in there when he teaches piano. A lot of people quit in the beginning, and and you got to start off with learning something that excites you right away. And, and that's not just piano, that's everything. Mm -hmm. So my personality is that I, I have to find something that engages me right away uh, in order for me to get excited about something. So I just found this course, it engaged me right away and it got me excited and I'm still excited about it. I'm still up every day playing, learning something new on the piano and it's still challenging, but I'm just pushing through it. So the, the words that I use to describe, I think what you're referring to is simply quick wins, right? Yes, yes. I think that's exactly. very important not in, in learning mm -hmm. anything and specifically learning piano in this, uh, in this case, because you take the more traditional approach to learning piano and you go through and it's just like you, you got to labor over learning the sheet music and the theory. And it's just like a long time before you're proud of anything you can do. You, Absolutely. You one internally. And so for me, like when somebody wants to learn to play, to play piano, ultimately what that means is playing songs on the piano. So that's why we try to get people to playing actual songs as quickly as possible. And, right. you know, the, the first time you can play a song, even if it's like a super basic version of a song, like that's, that's a quick, quick win, in my opinion. Mm. Um, do you, do you remember what the first song was that you learned through the program? And was that a, was that a big deal for you? Well, the, the first song that I actually learned, I'm, I know going through Amazing Grace um, was one of your key songs that you've, you've kept. And I can play Amazing Grace. Uh, I, I play that, but now I can actually play the melody uh, for the, with the right and the left hand. And I'm flying home to, I live in Nova Scotia, Canada, and I'm flying home to Newfoundland on Sunday. I'm spending five days with my, my mom in a home. And I'm so excited because that's the first song that I'm going to play to my mom. And, uh, and her name is Grace. So it's always the first song that she plays to me when I'm there, but now it's going to be my first song playing to her. Uh, I tried to do it as a recording, but the sound, she, you know, she has dementia uh, and she's, she's hard of hearing. So the recording didn't come out that well, but I'm going to sit in her uh, little studio there and, and play the piano. Um, and interesting, she she will forget my conversation instantly, but she will never forget how to play the piano. And she can play anything. It's 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 amazing. So that's probably one of the reasons. Uh, I, I don't know this for sure, but it's probably one of the reasons why it 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 it's, it started a spark into me because as I get older. It's something, I don't think I'm going to be playing the drums in a senior home. <laughs> but piano, yes, it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. And it's something that you, I don't think you would ever, my mom has not lost that ability in, in her mind to be a play the piano, but yet she will forget everything else. So it's a it's powerful, uh, powerful tool. Uh, but made the first one, the first full song that I've learned, uh, I started the course January the 1st is when I started searching online for, for people like yourself. And I went through quite a few until I, I came across your course. And then I started the five free days. And then on January the 7th, I ordered the, your course. And then on February the 14th, I played perfect by Ed Sharon to my wife of 37 years. So Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, yeah. It was uh, it was a special moment. There was lots of tears going that day. And she realized because she seen me every night up at the piano and sometimes even getting up two o'clock in the morning and going out and playing piano quietly for an hour. Uh, so she seen that it was worthwhile for me to, to spend that amount of time from mid January to mid February uh, on the on the piano, but uh, so yeah, Ed Sharon and the one that I'm working on now 
is this, one of my favorites of all time song. It's from 1967 by Procol Harum. And it's a wider shade of pale. And it's, uh, you, do, you, do you know that song? I, I don't know it by the name of it. Not, maybe if I listen to it, it might sound familiar. It's, it's, a, it's a very famous song. And, and it's, the intro is a melody, piano. Uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, listen, when we're done here, just Google it and listen to it. The actual, the, uh, the singer just passed away. Uh, his voice is, is amazing. So I'm just in the process of, I've got my right hand melody down, melody down for that song. And I'm just in the process of working on my left hand, which I'm struggling with. So I haven't done the melody course yet, which is the next thing that I want to do. So I want to pa unpack a few things that you've mentioned here. Let's go back to your mom for a second, if you don't mind. Uh, that's sure. really powerful stuff about what you're saying about how piano ha has played a part in her life, you know, with, with where she is, she can still just loves to play, can remembers everything about her playing. Um, does, is it fair to say you haven't seen her since you started learning piano? I haven't seen her since I started learning piano. So the she, I, I knew, I knew, yeah. you said you kind of tried to send her something um, electronically. She, she knows that you've been trying to learn. Uh, she does, but she wouldn't remember it. Uh, it it's every conversation that I have. Uh, as soon as I finish the conversation, I have to, she will ask me the same question over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so my sister goes over every day and we do a FaceTime probably three times a week. So every time we FaceTime, it's, it's a new, it's a new conversation, same conversation, but a new conversation. So when I go home, uh, when, when we did this video about uh, two or three weeks ago, she had a hard time hearing it. Uh, my mm -hmm. daughter videotaped it live on Facebook, but she, she, I don't think she fully comprehended the whole thing. But when I go home and sit down and play in front of her in her own little room in the home, that's where it's going to be probably powerful for her and, and more so for me, I think. Yeah. So, if, if you, if yeah. you can, if you can record that moment, that, that would be probably something very special for you to look back on for a long time. Yeah. So but it, really it's just, it's, I, I, th I think, you know, just looking at the piano aspect for as you get older, because, you know, they say uh, you, it takes a lot longer to learn things as you get older. And I don't know if that's true or not. I, I, I don't, but they say that, but, but uh, I'm actually quite surprised um, how quickly I was able to adapt and learn the piano. And you had mentioned, uh, I, I started the, the uh, guitar a few years ago, but I, I just didn't go through it. It actually hurt my fingers more. <laughs> but the, the only problem I have with the piano is just, is just the neck positioning. Mm -hmm. So I am in the process of, because I'm using the kids piano, that's what I played on. So my goal of next month is to buy a, a set, is, is to buy a, a, I think it's a 78 key, the big one. Cause the one I have right now is a short piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 88 would be the full size. 80, sorry. 88, 88. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I, I want to ask you once this interview is done is uh, your, your preferred. So, but yeah, of yeah, course. yeah, go back. So anything else on my, on my mom? Oops. Yeah, no, that's just, that's just amazing. And, and keep me posted on, on, on that. I'd love to hear back on, um, on that, just the combination of the song choice with her name being grace and her background with, uh, with piano yeah. is just, it's, it's quite a story. <laughs> it's quite a story. <laughs> Her and her brother, her brother has passed away now for many years. He was a, um, he was an accordion, uh, master accordion, a player, and also a collector. Uh, he had collected, oh, probably a hundred piano accordions. Um, and he actually willed me one. It's a hundred and eight button piano accordion that he willed me. It's back, it was uh, back in the 1940s um, from, from Germany. I have no idea how to play it. And I've had people <laughs> over that nobody seems to know how to play it. <laughs> it's, it's not a key. It's all buttons. So okay, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll stick with the normal piano, but yeah, it uh, sounds so, pretty cool. I, I won't be learning that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, that's too difficult. 
I don't think I have a course for that yet. No. So for your wife and being able to play for her um, on Valentine's Day, I mean, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you sharing that with us. Uh, you sent us an email, I think, on Valentine's Day. Um, and, and we immediately, like, we shared it internally. And we're just like, you know, okay. this is why we do what we do mm -hmm. um, for, for reasons like this. Your, your email said, um, in lesson 18, I just finished learning the song Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Uh, on Valentine's Day and serenaded my wife of 32 years and together for 41 years, lots of tears. Uh, honestly, I can't believe how well this course has taught me piano in so little time. Um, I'm so excited practice is paying off. So my next question would be, you weren't keeping it a secret from your wife that you were trying to learn. Had she no. not heard you play perfect before? No, she had not heard because all my practice was, um, with my little earbuds in so I can hear it from my phone or my tablet. And then I had my big headset over that plugged into my piano. So nobody heard me play in the house. I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't disturb anybody. So the, your audio was coming through here mm -hmm. and the piano audio was coming through my big uh, uh, headset that was plugged into my piano. So all my practice was totally quiet uh, to to all my uh, all they could hear <laughs> all they could hear was my was was the pedal, and they were getting a little annoyed at that because I was I was pressing on the pedal and it was the vibration was kind of going through the house, especially underneath. But other than that, they did not hear me play hardly anything. Maybe a few times, uh, but uh, until I actually, she did not know what I was going to play her. Okay. So that makes a lot, that makes a lot of sense. So, um, she was probably surprised that you were able to play a song like that. Yeah, so absolutely. Absolutely. Abs absolutely. Yeah. And, um, I, I, listen, I'm blown away. I, I, I'm blown away. I did not think that I, um, that I would be able to learn this quick. Um, but again, I did put in a, a lot of time. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, come on, Tony. I mean, it's piano in 21 days. What did you expect, man? Did you, Absolutely. did you not believe the hype? <laughs> it's, uh, well, you know, the first of the brilliance of, of your course is that you were able to have five days. And that five days actually gathered a lot of information. And that made my decision uh, because it gave you gave the formulas, you kind of gave you, you kind of get, set the stage to where to go, right? And and if I didn't follow through, then I'd never know where I could go. But but just just the first five episodes that that the set lesson lessons uh, really encouraged me to say that you know what this is this is my my style of learning, and I think and I want it. I'm competitive. I'm a competitive person, so I wanted to to have it done. I didn't want to drag this out for six months, mm, um, and and, and I, I work in, um, uh, I'm a medical sales, so I, I do sales for MR, CT scanners. So my, my background is, is engineering electronics. Uh, but, uh, and so most of my business is done now virtually. Before COVID, it was all travel to hospitals, uh, meeting customers, mainly radiologists world, the world. But uh, 99% of my time now is actually being home doing virtual conferences like we're doing now. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so I'm able to get up three o'clock in the morning uh, and, and practice my piano if I need to. And I know that yeah. may not be for everybody. That may not be everybody's option. So, Well, the, the, one of the beauties of it is you can do it on your own time, on your own schedule, right? Yeah. The normal way to learn piano is to have a local teacher. You go once a week, same time every week. Yes. Um, but now we have the internet, you know, you have, we have online courses. There's lots of people even doing live, live piano lessons um, through Zoom and whatnot. But this is, this, what, what you took was more of an online course and you could do it at 3 a.m. or you could do it at noon. Like you, it's up to you to go through it when Absolutely. you want to go through it. Um, and we have carefully crafted the curriculum in the course over the past uh, nine years now, since, since I first created it uh, a while back, to try to make it the most efficient, just step-by-step, bite-sized pieces, but it still doesn't mean it's a magic pill. And like you alluded to, 
you put in the works still, right? Mm -hmm. So like one, one question we get a lot is, you know, how much time could I, should I expect to have to devote to this to, to actually learn? So for you, like how much time was it? How much practice was it um, to get through the, the 21 day course? And I guess you got through it in total in maybe a month and a half or so. Yeah, I would say about uh, two hours a day on, on average. And, um, but I, I like what you said in one of your earlier things was, was walking away. Mm. And I spent a lot of time actually walking away <laughs> because, uh, I found that I found that, uh, it's kind of like, you know, you're, if you're, 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 you're you, we probably had the same mindset when I'm, uh, I'm an analytical guy and I try to solve problems. And if I stay at that problem for too long, it doesn't help me because I just get bogged down thinking about the same, same, same thing. And the same thing happened with piano. If I stayed there too long, I wouldn't get any better in, in trying to work my, my melody or something like that. So just walking away for 10 or 15 minutes and coming back and it's like, oh my goodness, I could do this. I, like it was just another little step further that I could do. So Walking away is a part of that little two hours as well. <laughs> okay. So two hours per, you know, there's 21 lessons in the course, basically. Yeah. Right. And they're, the, each lesson is labeled by day, right? Day one, day two. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you have to do it in consecutive days. So when you say two hours, is it two hours like every day that you were um, uh, going through Pretty the program much. or is it two hours Pretty per lesson? Uh, two hours. Uh, no, I would say probably two hours per lesson. Uh, but I never did a lesson in every day, so like because you know I might have took me three days to do one lesson, for example. Mm -hmm. It all it all depends on the complexity. I, I think when I got to the left hand, oh, I know what happened when I got to lesson. Oh my goodness, I forget which one it is right now. Uh, it was the le when I started to to use the left hand. And I'm a drummer and I could, I could actually play right hand and left hand. I have no problem with, with this and, and doing the rudiments and things like that. My big problem was having this finger do something than this finger. <laughs> it, 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 it completely blew my mind when I couldn't, when I couldn't move my left fingers, even playing as simple as, Mary had a little lamb. Like I could do Mary had a little lamb on this hand, but I couldn't do the secret sauce or do on the left hand. It was, it really, it really frustrated me that I couldn't. So I switched over to do the uh, hand or the coordination. I think it was the hand coordination course. That's right. And that really helped. <clears throat> that, that really helped. Um, and uh, I'm still actually not done that. I got most of it done. But, uh, but right now I'm just, I'm just back uh, learning your five stage, basically your five stage process of you know, downloading the music and learning that song. So the one that I'm doing right now is the wider shade of pale. So I want to, I want to tackle that. I want to finish it and I want to feel good about it. And then I'll move on to another song. Cause I, it's, it's, I find it's like, it's like doing renovations in your home. You know, you, you can't download 20 songs and say, I want to learn these 20s. You I do one at a time. Otherwise it just becomes overwhelming. Yeah. That's well said. But now that you've, now that you've been through the program, um, when you go, you go sit down at your piano, what does practice look like? Is it as simple as just continue working on whatever song you're working on at the time? Um, well, believe it or not, <laughs> this was funny. I woke up last night. I couldn't sleep at two o'clock. And you mentioned, you, you mentioned a comment in your learning that actual physical is the same as, as, as mental. I actually started, I really thought like that because I actually mentally go through and, and play without using my hands. And it really helps. So last night, believe it or not, I was just lying in bed and I'm like, I was going through Amazing Grace and I literally mentally couldn't even picture the course. I don't know where it went. It was just, just when I, 
I actually had to get up, go in to my, my office space, close the door, put on the headsets, and, and immediately it came right back to me. So basically what I'll do is I'll go back and, and replay every two or three days, replay Ed Sharon's song replay amazing grace replay uh imagine i've got imagine down by john lennon it's a perfect time right now in in what's going on in the world so i got that one down pat um and that that's a beautiful song i just took some note um uh, aha uh -huh, take on me the little melody there and uh oh my gosh knocking on heaven's door so those are all songs that you can basically play now and you enjoy yeah. playing and come back to. Yeah. So just so I usually go back and just play it. And it's amazing that every time I'll do it, I'll get a little bit better each time. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it is. It's and but not only that, you you made a point about not liking classic. Remember at right, right at the very end, you kind of gave you can go three different ways, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm choosing my favorite songs, but but when I'm on the piano right now, I, I I know all the four chord songs and different chords, and I just I just actually play the the four chord songs in any way that I want to play it, and and sometimes it sounds like classical music, <laughs> and just the way that I'm using my right hand and the inversions and and things like that, and I thought you know what. Maybe that's something in my future to be able to actually do a little bit of classical because it does sound really interesting. And yes. I never like I never was a fond. I don't like classical music, but I think I might be able to get used to it. Yeah, well, like I like like I say in the course there at the end, which you're referring to, is I just don't like it when people start with classical. Right? You've got this foundation now, and when mm. you see you know an, an E flat minor chord on sheet music if you learn yeah. to do sheet music and cl classical you won't just see three random notes that you've got to memorize their location and what that corresponds mm -hmm. to on the keyboard you can be like oh that's an e flat minor and understand what that means overall right um, yeah so that's that's really good uh next question for you would be just like having gone through the program who would you say is a good fit for it and who is not a good fit for it well i mean of course i'm going to have to say everybody I guess it, it, it comes down to anything like a lot of people sign up for things and do things and they never finish it. Most people never finish things. Um, and and I, I'm guilty as 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 well. But it does. It has to come down to your real interest level and, and what you want to accomplish. Like everybody makes a commitment Christmas time or a lot of people do to lose weight or, or to change their diet or to change. And, and then it becomes too hard. After two, two or three weeks, and, and I'm as guilty as this uh, as, as anybody, especially when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, to health and, and eating and things like that. But for music, when I made that decision, uh, it was almost like, I don't care how hard it gets, I'm actually doing it. Because I love music. I really do. I like music. It's not something that, but, you know, music is in my blood. Music is in my family. I just don't understand why I didn't learn piano or guitar earlier. I, that's what frustrates me. So I like before I get too too old, <laughs> I just had to. I just had to do it. So it was more of a have to rather than let's see. And if it gets too hard, I'm going to quit. Um, and I wanted to be able to do it on my, uh, the big part is I wanted to do it on my terms and and how and how it fit my learning skill. Because for me, learning all these notes and, and uh, theory things, it just doesn't work for me. Um, <clears throat> it's in and out, it's in my head, it's, it's gone and, and I can't, I, I, don't have, I, um, I don't have the ability to be able to retain all that, that information. But this, I can retain, <laughs> right? Yep. That I can retain, and it's and it's it's easy. I don't have to I, I don't have to go through and learn all this other stuff. 
And uh, maybe someday it, it, I might, I have no idea. But as of right now, I, I don't. I'm just happy where I am. I'm just happy where I am right now in basically three months to be able to play the piano. <laughs> just, just, just go beyond C, D, and G and, and have no idea what I was doing. You know, I just go from G, it sounded good, but I had no song, I had no anything. It, it just, but now I can actually play something, even if it's not a song, I can actually play something that sounds nice. <laughs> Tony, I mean, I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time and you sharing this with me and, and possibly others, um, because this is, this is why we do this on our side, right? Um, you know, my story, right? I struggled with the normal way to learn piano for a very long time, which, you know, the normal way obviously works for some people because, or it wouldn't exist, but right, it didn't exactly. work for me. That was not what was going to work for me. And so eventually I created a program that would have worked for me and right. put it out there to see if other people, you know, wanted to learn more of this style um, and way, way of learning. So it's just, uh, it's just so good to hear that it's making an impact on other people's lives. I just, that just means the world to me to hear your story. So I really appreciate you sharing it. Yeah. I mean, this whole uh, internet, uh, I mean, when, when COVID changed, you know, we had a certain way of doing business on March 1st, 2020. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, this is how you conducted business. And today it's completely different. And, you know, I prefer it a lot better because it's more productive. The only thing I don't prefer is that the, I don't get it enough of the uh, face to face. It's more of this right now, but this is good. To, this is good too. But anybody around the world can access this information readily. So beyond your course, there's so many other things like you had recommended two other sites to go in to download sheet music. So I, I registered for that. And so now I can download and get the melody. So, I mean, when I grew up um, in a small little island off the coast of Newfoundland called Fogo Island, and it's now become world famous because of a resort. It was actually on 60 minutes in the United States, all North America a few months ago. So it was this little remote, town where I grew up on an island it's an island off an island so listening to music years ago um, we didn't even know what the what the lyrics were we couldn't even get access to lyrics we only had one television television station one little ra one radio and uh, but now you could search the internet and gain access to everything so I just look at your course as being kind of like a stepping stone for me to get motivated, me to learn now to get better and to utilize the internet to get better. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm using. You kind of gave me the platform for me to learn. And now I'm using all the tools on the internet to become better. Yeah. Right. I gave you, I gave you one tool and, um, a tool is not good unless you put it to use, right. And you put it to use, you put in the work and are reaping the, the rewards for that now. So, uh, well done, uh, keep up the good work. It sounds like you're still going strong with your practice and learning new songs and whatnot, and keep us posted on the, uh, the visit to mom in a little bit. I will. Uh, I can send you a, a video of my mom playing if, if, if you like sometime. But, uh, yeah, I would love that. I would love that. All right, Tony, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, bye bye. So thanks again to Tony for joining me with that conversation and allowing me to share it with you. I hope he can motivate and inspire you to learn piano as well, whether you're an existing piano in 21 days student to get on practicing and going through your lessons, or look, if you haven't even signed up yet, if you're all the way at the beginning, then I want to invite you to check out my free workbook. If you haven't already, it's called learn 36 popular songs in five days, get started totally free. Click the link in the description below. And I look forward to being your piano teacher.